Hey, so today we're going to be talking about Salesforce and Domo Everywhere. Um, to begin, I feel like Salesforce is like one of the best ways to use Domo Everywhere. I'm a big fan of Salesforce. Um, I also think it's, you know, being a very popular tool. Um, most companies have a CRM. And so in this case, there's going to be a lot of users in that CRM that can benefit from your Domo data. And instead of making them go outside to a different system that they don't know and get lost, embedding it where they live is a really cool proposition. And so in this case, this tutorial today, we're going to talk about how you can embed cards like this into your Salesforce instance, as well as full scale dashboards, right? So in this case here, I have a dashboard that's a Domo Everywhere dashboard embedded in here using a Visual Force page. And the cool thing about this is this is actually specific or reactive to the screen that's that it's displayed in Salesforce. So in this case here, I'm on Edge Communications. It shows the annual revenue and employee count. But if I come over to, let's go to Burlington Textiles, we can see that their health score is going to be a different health score, same card, as well as a different dashboard, right? So in this case, programmatic filtering, we're able to filter down the dashboard to be specifically to react specifically to just show the data based on the account ID up here. And so I'm gonna be going over that over that today as well. So hopping over to what we're gonna be doing, um, I made this quick flow chart that just kind of shows how basically how this, this whole model works. But basically we're gonna be using a repo that Domo has provided us. And our whole end goal is to display a visual force page, which is Salesforce's version of an HTML page to, um, to our end users on a Salesforce account record. And that page is going to be controlled by an Apex class that we're going to install. And in this case, um, we're not going to have to do any coding. We're just going to have to pass in a couple variables, so it'll be very straightforward. Trust me, not a Salesforce developer, don't know how to do that stuff. And then that Apex class is going to call our Domo Everywhere dashboard. It's going to get an embed token. We're going to be creating a client ID and secret on de developer.domo.com to then, um, yeah, to then be able to pass data back to our Visual Force page. And we are accomplishing all of this with an awesome repo that I found a few years ago at Domo Palooza. Um, Michael Farrington was is a Salesforce architect at Domo. Michael, if you're watching this, I love this repo. I've used this so many times. But anyway, he has done all the heavy lifting for us. He's created all of the test classes, the Apex, the Visual Force code. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry because you don't have to worry about it. He's done the heavy lifting for us. Um, basically, he get, he's given us a guide here that's going to walk through how we can embed our Domo dashboards into Salesforce via Apex and Visual Force. And honestly, like we're going to follow these steps here. Very straightforward. We're going to show how to do filtering and all that. So um, I'm excited to show you guys how that's done. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing, like I'm honestly going to go step by step here. And the first thing is there is a controller class, which is a line of code, and we have to add four variables to that. And so if I come in here, I'm going to come into the repo and in classes, I think it's the very first class. Let's see real quick. I click here and then yeah, this Domo embed example controller is the code that we're going to be putting into our Salesforce instance. And in this case, Michael is saying, there's four things that we're going to do. We're going to update our client ID in secret. We'll get those from developer.domo. We're going to get our embed ID, which we'll get from our Domo instance. Um, it's like a five-digit ID from the, from the for the dashboard or, or for the card. And then finally, we are going to declare if it's a card or dashboard. After that, it's going to do most of the heavy lifting for us, right? Um, which is really good. Like I said, don't understand all this code. I understand the basics of it. But anyway, let's, let's get started. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this code. So let's copy the entire code. And then I'm going to come over to my Salesforce instance. So I'm just in a developer environment. But if I type in here classes, Apex classes, I can create a new class here. And let's just click new. And then we'll paste in the code from our repo. And then we're just going to update what we need to update here. So in this case, um, I'm going to come over here to I'm on my developer.domo.com. And I'm just going to get a new client ID in secret that I will promptly delete after this video, having learned the hard way. Um, but yeah, let's do that. My, it's cool because he actually tells us what what grants we need here. So you know, best practice always always doing the the, the minimum grants needed. So in this case, it's data, audit, user, and dashboard. So I'm just going to click. Let's see, data, audit, user, dashboard. Let's give this a descriptive title. Salesforce embed. And let's create that. And so now it's going to give us client ID and secrets. So now what we'll do is we are just going to copy these over. So let's copy that over. And we are going to put it into our Salesforce instance. So let's put it in our client. And let's go back and put in our secret. Cool. 
Awesome. So now it wants the embed ID of our dashboard. And so I've made a, a very quick dashboard here um, in the community instance. Let's see, what did I call it? Domo Everywhere example. And so if you haven't done this before, this is, this is very straightforward. Here, we're just going to come in here and say embed dashboard. And then it'll start as off, but we're going to do a private embed because we don't want this to be public. We want it to be private. So just people in our Salesforce instance are going to see it. And then there's a lot of different options you can do. Um, I play around with these. Like I said, there's there's plenty of, you know, filter bar is a cool one, but I'm going to leave them as is and then just come in here to additional information and copy my embed ID, this little five digit ID. And we're going to paste that into our class. Awesome. And then the last thing here is we're going to say that this is a dashboard that we're embedding. So you have to differentiate between card and dashboard. Um, from there, I'll, I'll probably come back here and explain a little bit, but those are the four things that we have to update. And so we'll click save and that will put it into our instance, the Apex class, not running or anything, but in our instance. And so now if I come back, Michael will tell us what we need to do next. Let's come back here. Okay, add, okay, this is a fun one because I've forgotten this one so many times. With, with uh, Salesforce, it wants to make sure that it knows when and anytime something is being called outside Salesforce, it wants to know who's calling. So in this case, we have to add a, a remote site saying, hey, api.domo.com is authorized to use Salesforce. And so we'll come back here and in our settings, we'll just type in remote site, remote site settings, and we will add a new one, new remote. And we'll paste that in and Oh yeah, name, let's call it, uh, yeah, Domo API. And then I'd give a description. Let's say like, you know, for use in embedding Domo dashboards programmatically into our Salesforce instance. And wow, I cannot type. Thank you, Grammarly. <laughs> so let's save that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's just take that off real quick and save it. Cool. Let's make sure it's there because this, again, this tripped me up quite a bit the first time I did this. Okay. So that looks great. Awesome. Let's come back. What are we up to next? Add, we're going to add the visual force page. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So let's come back here. Um, this again, a visual force page, <laughs> such a dorky name, but all it means is an HTML page. So in this here, um, this is the code. Like you said, it's very similar to HTML. So I'm going to copy the code, come back to my Salesforce instance, type in visual force, Visual Force pages, and let's create a new one. And let's just let's paste in our code. And then another thing here is you want to make sure it's available for Lightning experience because most of Salesforce is now on the Lightning platform. And Visual Force was done, you know, way back in the day with with um, what was it called? Classic. And so in this case, let's just call this uh, Domo embed example. We'll click save. Oh, and let's see. Let's take off. That's so funny. Let's take those off real quick. Save again. Okay, awesome. So now we're we're getting pretty close here. Honestly, like you know, it, this it's a pretty straightforward process. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add it to our page layout for our account. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to my object manager, come to accounts, and then Lightning Record Pages. And in this case, let's make a new Lightning Record Page. And this is how we're going to display our dashboard. So in this case, um, let's see, I want to make it a record page. Click next. We'll call it account. And it'll be on the account layout. And in this case, I always like to pick, yeah, I mean, there's lots of different ways you can do this, but I always like to pick a very simple, a simple layout. And awesome. So now what we'll do is we will add, um, let's see. I mean, this stuff here, so honestly, it can be configured by your Salesforce admin, but here, um, I'm just usually what I do is I create a new custom tab that I'll call Domo and I'll just put it on the layout. And so in this case here, you're able to add components. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to add the visual force page that we just made. And so I'm going to drag in that visual force page. And right off the bat, it has my Domo embed example, which is good. And you can actually see here that it's rendering. So um, if you're getting here and you're seeing an error, it's probably because either something's wrong with your Apex class, you didn't add a remote site, or something's off with your Visual Force page. But in this case, we can see it's rendering, so that's an awesome sign. So I'll click Save and activate it. And then I want it to be the org default, so I'm just gonna make it the org default. So now what I can do is I can come back to a record 
and we can see how that worked out. So let's come back here. Let's go to our sales console. And let's, okay, let's come to our accounts and let's see, let's see what's happened. Oh, okay, so it looks like this is not the default. Let me go and set the default real quick. So just a couple adjustments to my Salesforce settings. Um, but in this case, now we can see that there's a Domo uh, tab that I've added. And now we can see that our dashboard is up and running, which is awesome. But we can see that it's not filtered at all, right? So in this case, we have to do a couple final steps where we need to add um, a couple things to the Visual Force page and then also to the Apex class to pass the record. And so I'll go over that in my next video. But anyway, um, hope you found this helpful. Like I said, very, um, again, really just following the instructions of this repo. I will link the repo so you can take a look at it. But yeah, fun and exciting way to use Domo Everywhere to get it into the hands of your users quickly. So thanks.